Happy Friday guys, today's May 1st and today is the first day you guys can apply for the United States Space Force. I can apply for the United States Space Force? But hold on there killer. Just before you guys get excited, there are a couple prerequisites that you guys need to meet in order to put in an application. First, who am I to be telling you guys information, right? What is my credibility? Wait a minute! Who are you? I joined the Air Force nine years ago in 2011 with the job Space System Operations. And since then, I've been in the space career field. I've worked satellite command and control, uh, missile warning, and here in Cape Canaveral, I work space lift, so we launch rockets. Um, so I don't know everything, but I do have a little bit of knowledge regarding the actual space sector and career field. With that out of the way, let's get straight to it. All right, so first thing is first, you're gonna to have to have an applicable AFSC or Air Force job specialty code in order to apply for Space Force. So Space Force is only looking for certain jobs. Uh, that comes in two categories. The first category is gonna be the organic category, organic space jobs. So those are either a one Charlie six, which I am an enlisted space operator, or a 13 Sierra, which is an officer space operator. And then the second category is going to be the non-organic side, which is not exactly space jobs, but can apply to space force, such as Intel. And I'm going to leave the rest of those AFSCs below. If you have an applicable AFSC within those, you're going to fall in between one of those two categories. Um, of course, this is just the first wave and the first people that can apply for space force. As time goes on, there's going to be more people that can apply, but in general, this is the first people that can apply for Space Force as of right now. So, if you did have an AFSC that is applicable to transferring, you should have gotten an email from AFPC, which is Air Force Personnel Center, and they actually send you an email that looks a little bit like this. Dear military professional, today we extend to you the opportunity to join as we write a new chapter in U.S. history, the building of the United States Space Force, the sixth branch of the armed forces. The Space Force is charged with protecting our nation's interest in space, determining aggression in, from, and to space, and conducting space operations. This will be one of the most significant personal and professional decisions you may ever make, and it may not come easily. If you have questions, please ask. We have teams of smart, dedicated professionals standing by to answer these questions, and those working hard to build the future we all want. It's going to be quite a journey. There will never be a time such as this again. Come and be a part of the story. Transfer is voluntary action. However, you can set the Air Force Network decision by following the instructions. After you read all that, you can go into my MyPERS, the link there, and then you apply. In order to apply, you have to get a DD-368. And what that DD-368 is, is basically permission from your commander that says, yes, I approve this guy or this member in transferring to the Space Force. And then there you go. That's it. That's your application. And really all you can do is wait. So the last thing that we heard of was, May 1st is going to be the first that you can apply for, for the people that are applicable. And then you'll actually transfer over if you get accepted around October timeframe. So uh, hope, hopefully that was a little helpful and informative for you guys. Uh, we basically... My, dog, my dog's really eating right now. I'm trying to record this video. Anyway... Thanks guys for watching, and if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or even corrections, maybe I didn't get this stuff right, just go ahead and leave it in the comment section below, or message me. Uh, either way, I appreciate y'all, and y'all take it easy.